Today let's discuss black water aquarium. Few weeks back a friend of mine visited my place. As soon as he saw my aquarium he asked did i pour coffee in this fish tank by mistake when i reply i didn't he pursued then why didn't i clean the fish tank and how come the fishes are alive in such dirty brown water unfortunately these are the common responses you will receive when you set up a black water aquarium it may not be visually appealing but it's an accurate honest attempt to recreate nature at home many portion of amazon river basin brown or amber colored water is noticed this happens when huge amount of dried leaves wooden branches fall into river or creek water due to tannin leaching from leaves and wood the water become brown in color this tannin also makes water soft and acidic not only in amazon but all over the world in many river lake pond and creek this black water is noticed tannin also has some antiseptic properties which is good for fish health many people are trying to mimic black water biotope in home aquarium day by day it's getting popular among hobbyist and fish keepers in my black water setup i am keeping a small school of ember tetras this type of black water setup is best suited for neon and cardinal tetras I placed thin layer of sand and a few driftwood then I added 6 to 8 dried almond leaves tannin leached from these leaves gave golden brown color to my tank water it also dropped my tank ph from 7.8 to 7.4 while creating this type of black water setup please be mindful of the fact that the fishes you intend to keep are not from wild and most likely bred and raised in an ornamental fish farm hence these fishes may not do well with sudden ph drop due to addition of dried almond leaves I suggest not to add more than 5 ammon leaves in each 10 gallon of tank water. I also boil ammon leaves before putting them in aquarium. Boiling makes leaves to sink and settle at tank bottom instantly and it also removes excess tannin making it safe to use. without boiling almond leaves they will float in tank and release lot of tannin please ensure not to use too much almond leaves as it will make your tank water dark brown and will cause sudden ph drop which your fishes may not like i do 30 to 40% water change each weekend I placed a big clump of pothos plant in this tank. Pothos filter my tank water naturally and takes up excess nutrient from water and making my tank clean and fish friendly. Pothos plant had been used in aquarium hobby widely. They do a good job of absorbing ammonia nitrate from water and their roots provide refuge to fishes 
it also gives your fish tank an aesthetically pleasing look. I placed a small LED light on top of Pothos plant. It makes plant grow and expedite nutrients uptake from water. Please ensure Pothos leaves are kept outside water and the roots are submerged in water. My ember tree trees look happy in their setup. I intend to keep this black water setup for long term. Thanks a lot for tuning in to my channel. Please like, share, subscribe if you like my content. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.